Hello friends, welcome back. Now let's say another use case could be like uh, okay now we have set the transient data by genre taxonomy. Okay, what if like we added like we have I have like for example the transient data set for the four hours after setting the the transient data into the database. And if I added a new movie to to the any any uh, transient like or a drama drama uh, like i'm adding a new movie creating a new movie post and adding this or uh, assigning this drama genre term to that movie okay so in that case our latest data won't be available unless we delete this transient because transient data is already set and it won't be expired up to four hours right and in b- before the transient data expired before that if the new movie post added or any existing movie post updated with the same term then in that case up to the four hours we won't have that latest uh, movie post by that uh, genre taxonomy to display into the front end so how we can do that so in that case what we can do is like use we can uh, delete the transient data okay when the movie post are saved so we can use save post action all right so similar thing we i have did so into this um, movie.php file where i register the movie post types and everything and other meta boxes so here i have uh, added another action save post movie and mlb delete movies transient movie delete delete the movie related transients okay so here what i have did is uh, we don't want to delete the transient if it's auto save or if it's a revision so simply return and then if once the movie updated or added i'm fetching all the genre term assigned to that movie okay and then delete and construct that uh, transient name by dynamic and same transient name here uh, i think i have to add mlb so i'm just copy this here and uh, go here and added it okay so same uh, transient name with the genre term so similar uh, transient name will be created okay and then using the delete transient uh, function and then transient name so this fun so whenever the new new, uh, new movie post added and if that movie post have drama t- uh, genre term assigned then it will delete uh, the this uh, transient data stored for the drama taxonomy okay so if i go here um into the here and i'm simply just updating instead of adding it updating or maybe let me just add a new movie for example taste movie i can say taste a movie okay and to genre taxonomy i am just adding a drama here okay and uh, taste movie content okay and then published okay so if you go to the database and you just refresh it our transient data gone and if i uh go here in the second movie okay uh, second part refresh it now you can say transient data saved and it getting another latest movie post id okay so this way we can also delete the transient data and once the and again the same function call it will like uh, get the latest data and display into the front end so user don't have to wait for uh wait do, like do not have to wait until the data the transient data expired okay uh, and this is the dynamic transient name so that's why we have to do this if the, it's, it's a static one then we can simply just call that function on the save post movie action and then simply delete the transient okay and the delete transient only required a transient name and then it performs some of the actions execute actions again if the object essay installed then it will delete from the object essay else it will delete from the options table okay and then again calling this deleted transient action okay so this way uh, we can use the transient data thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress